point, the cards became more popular than the gum, and the buyers were no longer kids. <laughs> Harry Levinson, bubblegum card collector. Here's how he describes his personal hoard. I said I have one of the better ones in Markham. And are these cards valuable? I mean, somebody went through their garage or their attic and they found some bubblegum cards with their kids that say, okay, now I can retire. And now I'm going to buy the Ferrari. Are they worth a lot of money? Uh, they're not. Everybody's under the misconception that they are. They're, you know, cards uh, are relative to their value. Uh, it, it depends on the demand. What about Harry's favorite card or cards? My favorite card would be the Batman. I enjoy the Batman card because it's a hand-painted, very, very nicely crafted card. And uh, it was one of my favorite TV shows as I was growing up. What's the most valuable card that you own? The most valuable card that I own would probably be uh, a Hank Aaron card from the 1950s, and that's at about $125. How expensive can, can these cards be? Uh, cards from the 1930s can go up to $1,500. You mentioned you had one of the best collections in Markham, so uh, that leads me to believe there are a lot of collectors across Canada, across Ontario. Would you like to be in touch with them? Sir? There are a lot of people, and I encourage them to give me a call uh, at, at any time, and I can sit down and talk about collecting, talk about a possible convention that we're thinking of putting together. It's very, very popular. It's catching on like wildfire. <laughs>